Bonjour. Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Paris and we are going to take you to a very special place after the French Revolution. Yeah. So, on y va. On y va. It's closed for lunch break so we are going to walk around show you how it looks like on the outside and then we'll go back in Sinan is a little bit disappointed no? No, I'm not disappointed. he was like he was like I closed I said no just lunch break just lunch break not a problem basically what you see behind me this is a symbolic kind of uh, structure with tombs where there is no one inside, but it was built to commemorate the uh, Swiss Guard in uh, Tuileries Palace. So you have nine on this side and nine on the other side. Now, why was this chapelle built here and what was here before? Before you had a cemetery. This cemetery was used during the um, revolutionary period when they were guillotining everybody. Over 500 people were buried here in this cemetery during that time. And um, there are two theories. There is one version that we've read online <laughs> that we found that Marie Antoinette and Louis XVI, they were both thrown into the uh, mass grave. And then there is another version that says, no, that wasn't the case. They were not in the mass grave. They were actually placed nearby. I genuinely don't know which one to believe because there's a conflict in information. So I don't know. I have no idea. So Marie Therese and Louis XVIII, they both decided to build this chapel to commemorate the family, the royal family. I'm really wondering how it feels like inside because it's scary because I was watching videos I saw uh, apparently down there they built a wall and they just put some bones inside but I'm really looking forward to seeing it at the same time so let's see So we just finished our visit, down there it felt very creepy, I felt the same way in Conciergerie, it was a real prison though, and in this place, outside it looks so humble, but inside it's just stunning. I wasn't expecting anything like this, because when you go in, I could see how Louis XVIII spent 3 million literally, it was just so detailed, you could see in one part, the remnant of the royal family was transferred to Saint Denis Basilica 21 years later. Two statues that are on each side, on the left and the right, they are not only beautiful but they also are very unique because the statue with Louis XVI, he is basically next to the angel and um, it's a unique statue in a way that he is a royal, right? And the royal was never before shown as in trouble or as in like in a bad position. He was basically he looked like he needed help or he was asking for help, like he was in trouble. And on the side of Marie Antoinette, you could see her, she is grasping, she's holding on to religion. And um, you can see that her crown basically is on the ground. So she's like shedding her royal being. And the only thing that rests with her is religion and the sky. 
so it's it's just a beautiful beautiful composition of both statues one more thing is that the walls that supposedly have the bones of other people who were buried here I'll just say one thing it's really creepy down there like it really like you feel a little bit first of all it's really like, cool and quiet and it's a very interesting experience highly recommended to come and visit highly recommended to go and see it's absolutely beautiful thank you for joining us we hope you liked this episode as much as we did if you would like to see more of these videos please don't forget to like share comment below and subscribe if you would like and until next week au revoir, au revoir.